Hey, what's up everyone? So for this video, I'm going to show you how to make a pretty simple mod using FO4 Edit. And uh, I'll put a link to download FO4 in the video description. So after you got that downloaded, extract it, and then you should see either FO4Edit.exe, maybe in the future, or at the moment currently you see a TS5Edit.exe. So just rename it to FO4.exe, and then launch it, and then you'll select um, the fault for ESM and any ESP files you have installed will be there as well to select. Um, so I'll just say OK because the other ESP file, no random gun shell ejection direction is a mod that I made. So yeah, this will just be a quick simple tutorial on how to make a simple mod for Fallout 4 using Fallout 4 edit. So. We're going to expand the fault4.esm file, and you can also look at the fault4.exe file for some other values and information, but it hasn't been too helpful to me at least. And you can kind of just explore around and play around with all the different kind of settings and forms. You can click on a record or object and you can see all the different um, data associated with that particular object. So uh, probably the most important one to note is the game setting one. So in here you can play with some different values and tweak them around and stuff for how um, if you want to make some certain mod that modifies how much money a merchant has or whatever. But let's just say you want to change the damage on a weapon to be pretty overpowered. Or maybe you just like the weapon a lot and you want to be able to use it later in the game when enemies have more health and are harder to kill. So let's say you really like the hunting rifle and you want to mod the damage for it. So if we scroll down on the hunting rifle weapon page, we can see that it has a um, data key and the value for this is 37. So let's say we wanna modify that, make it more overpowered. So to do this cleanly, we'll do a copy as override into. And what this will do is it'll create a new, um, a new ESP file to override the ESM's value. So let's go ahead and say new file, okay. Name the file as op hunting rifle uh, oop, without an extension. So don't put ESP at the end because it'll make it for you. And then follow for ESM will be the master, and that's what we want. So we can see that on the left side here in this left column, we have follow for ESM and its values, and then we have our mod, which will override anything that's in the ESM. So let's say we want to make the damage like ridiculously high. So maybe set it at 100. And then after you're done playing around with the settings, or if you want to just save your changes and maybe work on some other things, press Control S. This will save the file. You can also choose to back up the plugin or not. And then you should get a notification in this messages log that uh, the SP or the plugin file that you made was saved. So now to go ahead and test it out, we're gonna go into our um, follow for plugins.txt and add the mod. So here I'm going to use my any tool to open up my plugins.txt file, and then add it. So it's op hunting rifle.esp, right? Save that, close that out, and then we can go um, launch the game. So I'm just going to use my tool for that too. Um, and then I'll I guess I should have showed that it's the ESP is generated into your follow for directory. And just in case you're wondering what the music is, it's from The Witcher 3. And there's a, there's a, quite a few songs that are pretty good from The Witcher 3 soundtrack. And uh, I just, I don't know, I'm kind of tired of putting Skyrim's soundtracks in my videos, so I just said to use Witcher 3. So here's our hunting rifle. Let's look at our inventory here real quick. Uh, where is it? There it is. So, as you can see, the damage is 160, which is insanely high, so you'll be fine. I mean, this hunting rifle will do some serious damage. And just real quickly, I'll show that it, the mod is generated after you save it into your Fallout 4 data folder. You can just see that right here. So hopefully that gives you just a pretty quick overview of what you can do with Fallout 4 Editor so far before the official GAC is released to just do some simple mods and stuff like that. So, I mean, so far I found out the weapon category is pretty cool to play around with that. The game settings category is definitely worth looking at. 
to see if there's something you like. And there's also a text file that has more settings that you can alter. Um, you can add them as new records into another mod. They don't exist in the ESM file, but some other people have been using these settings to add it to their mod that they make to change some stuff. So. Yeah, anyways, that's pretty much it. Um, again, I'll provide a link to the Fallout 4 edit file on the Nexus, which again, as of this video, in what, December 2nd, 2015, um, it's named as TS5 edit for some reason, so you have to rename it to Fallout 4 edit, or FO4 edit. But uh, yeah, uh, for this video, the version is 3.1.3. So yeah, anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and let me know if you have any uh, questions or comments.